we've been developing a set of uh, web applications which, uh, whose idea is that they should look like desktop applications and function in the same manner. Uh, all the backend is uh, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and uh, data transport is done with XML, and the front end is Flash, which some, some people may find it uh, 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 unattractive. But again, uh, it is, that's what's out there in the market. But as you can see, the whole concept is that, uh, that the applications have basically the same functionality as every uh, desktop application. Uh, just give me a second. You can open full screen. You can do several windows at the same time. And replicate many of the functions here. We are opening all our applications today. Uh, later, they will be released under the AGPL, the Afero uh, General Public License. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's basically the GPL with uh, one class added, which is uh, usually, the G well, what the GPL says is that if you don't distribute your uh, code, you don't have to return the changes to the community. But with uh, web-based stuff, if you serve them and if you provide a service over the web, basically you're distributing uh, uh, your applications. So uh, what uh, or the Afero GPL license, what it does is just add some clauses uh, doing that so that if, if you use it commercially or for any other purpose, and even if you don't distribute the code, uh, you have to uh, give it back to the community. So that's, that's what the GPL does, and that's the license that we're using to release this. And let me show you uh, some more of the applications here. Oops. What we're releasing right now is all what you can see here, which is basically uh, file manager, email, calendar. Everything is uh, in, 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 in open formats. For example, the calendar uses iCal and uh, the uh, context directory is, is based on LDAP, so uh, and vCart and all that. So the whole idea is that you are able to switch providers if, if that's what you need. For example, uh, we believe that the monopolies that could be created with uh, web-based uh, applications, which seems to be the thing that's coming. If if you look at Google's strategy, for example, looks like they're going to be heavily based, uh, 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 they, they, they are relying heavily on web-based applications. So what happens there is that you, uh, as it is today with Windows, for example, your operating system is owned by somebody else. But uh, as it would be in the future, even your data would be owned by somebody else. So. We believe that uh, in order to break this, web-based applications that provide the same functionality as desktop programs to users are needed uh, uh, in an open scheme to break this. So uh, that's basically uh, what I have to say. And uh, Carlos can talk about some of the technical details. Hey, well. Um I'm going to talk about uh, how we use Linux, uh, Linux uh, to build this uh, website. As you can see we uh, we basically have all uh, you can uh, find on the internet, but just uh, plug into the same page. We are using Postfix uh, to email. We are using a storage based on GPS, and for example, uh, the address book authentication, all is based on LDAP. 
We are handling about a hundred thousand users. All those uh, users are stored in LDAP. We use uh, NCCD because of the authentication must be as fast as possible. Uh, we build uh, our own sch schemas uh, for LDAP, for example, to handle uh, all preferences. Uh, our uh, address book is based on LDAP as well. Um, the calendar, as Oscar told, uh, it's based on open standards, um, open protocols. So we use iCal, for example. We use BCARS for export and import data. So everything uh, you have, uh, for example, on uh, web calls can be added to our calendar. Uh, we have a, a news aggregator, uh, a messaging. We have, uh, we, have uh, we use Jabber. Uh, you can as, uh, add as many Gmail accounts as well. And well, um, we have very uses to this application thanks to, to Linux. We are uh, given this uh, software not also not only uh, as a web services but uh, also as a LSTP um, desktop the uh, Linux uh, terminal server uh, project. We are working with government. We've managed to handle, uh, we've managed to build uh, unattended uh, Linux installations based on, on Debian. Uh, we build, uh, we, we um, give the user a, a CD, a single CD, and we package all those services, uh, LAMP, Jabber. Uh, we use LAME for MP3 decoding. Uh, we give the user a CD. The user just press enter, and the unattended installation installs. You get a full server uh, installed. Once you restart, you just configure uh, networking and some s default settings, and you start using uh, Sapolesk. Um, we added uh, the LT, L LSTP project to launch uh, about um, 15 machines without any hard drive, just they put uh, from the network. And we have this for about uh, 20 schools in Mexico. So at the end, it's uh, cheap enough. And uh, the whole idea here is that according to the Open Source Development Labs, or, or, or uh, it's a new incarnation, I can't remember the name uh, now, but 70% of all desktops require very basic applications only. So uh, what we're trying to do is to put all these applications on the web with the same functionality as desktop applications so that this idea of uh, web devices can really take off. And uh, it, it has worked for us, for example, uh, there's a company in Mexico that has 12,000 desktops, it's a mining company, and they started migrating to Linux recently. And uh, they are using some of these applications here because uh, they, for example, had a, a survey amongst their users for uh, switching them to webmail. They were using some uh, Windows and Outlook, and many of them didn't want uh, any webmail. So they showed them this, and it was an acceptable compromise for many to have some web email that replicated some of the functionalities of uh, 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 a desktop email. Uh, as it is right now, we're open it is it's we call it in beta, but web web software is always in beta, and we're open it. Uh, to the world to create a, co we aim to create a community around this. And we, we aim to create a community that uh, uh, brings together both uh, open source developers, uh, free and open source developers, and creative professionals. 
that's something which, that's uh, uh, the culture of our company. That's how we work. Uh, Carmen here is a, a designer, and uh, she's the one who has created all, all this look and everything. So we aim to bring more people into the free and open source community, people who usually wouldn't even uh, think about uh, uh, participating in, an, in a free and open source community, like creative professionals. That's something which we have, we, we participated in, in an event with uh, web designers and all that recently and told them that we were opening and it was uh, uh, the enthusiasm that we could see was enormous. And uh, we already have 150,000 users. We have two commercial services. That's how we plan to survive as a company, not selling code, not selling software, but selling a service based on that. And uh, we know that uh, there will be competition. We hope that this competition is based on the same software and we want this to grow and be something else. So that's basically, we really don't want to steal more of your time. So if you have any questions. Yeah, I have a question. <laughs> but, all right, uh, shoot. <laughs> Um, gosh, yep. where, do I, where do I start here? Gosh, so you, you basically and first said off that you know there's a trend that services owning a data. So I thought you were coming up with a solution that people can have their own data. Is that how I understand it? Like you, you give free software so that people can run their own desk on their own computer, sort of thing. That's the uh, that's the whole thing. The, uh, uh, the whole issue is to promote uh, services based on open standards, services based like this. What we want to do is to uh, allow people to, uh, uh, at the push of a button, get all their home and all their data here. And if but where's the data stored on your servers? On our servers. But the whole idea would be that if this architecture is uh, replicated, yeah. if, if there are many providers using this same thing, you would be able to transfer your home somewhere else if that's what you wanted to do. So the plan is to for you to hold the data for these services, but hold it in formats which are easily interoperable with other people providing competing services. Exactly, exactly, and allow people to move their data wherever they want to. I mean, this is something which okay. prob you're, you're probably not going to be able to do with other products. Uh, well, I, and I, when I first saw this, I thought this might be you're doing some sort of you're latching onto a GNOME desktop, but I guess these are not GNOME applications. You basically, or, or are they? I, I didn't quite get that. These are not, these, this isn't GNOME, is it? It's something else. I mean, this is not a GNOME, no, okay. This is not going to work. Okay, I just, so you basically had to re-implement every single application into the Flash thing. But some of it's standard applications like Jabber. Pardon? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. Some of them are standard applications like Jabber. Yeah, but I, I mean, <laughs> re-implementing the whole freaking desktop stack is a lot of work and and huh? no it's 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 not it's not gnome it's something it's, it's web based look it, it's a browser there yeah but it's a, URL. <laughs> a web based applica um, a web application isn't a flash application mm -hmm. that's i think quite fundamental to me yeah you must have to rewrite everything well but but but, but <laughs> the whole issue is that 70% of desktops use very very basic stuff 70% of all desktops are just email, calendars, contacts, and the basic office suite. W th what we're doing right now is uh, uh, providing open office through VNC so that people can uh, 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 do light editing of documents and stuff like that. So that's basically our, our, our concept. Create a very basic uh, scheme for uh, applications that replicate the functionality, the look and feel, It's a web application. But it's not a web application, it's a flash application. I can see this working with a web, web application. I can see this working. I mean, I like the idea of having open standards and, and, a, and a server backend. I mean, that's important. That's, that's really important. That's why I, why I don't think Google could actually succeed in the long run, because they need to open up the server backends, as in, I own the data. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought that's a good idea. but. I don't think this Flash application is a good idea, really. You should be doing web applications, not Flash applications. 
Well, the, the thing <laughs> is that uh, uh, the only way you can create all this uh, uh, look and feel, all the functionality of the desktop uh, today is basically with Flash. We, we do it out, uh, uh, out of a pragmatic <laughs> approach. <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, you can definitely uh, uh, install the plugin in Linux if that's what you want. No, 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 no. Mm? One of the things that they make very clear on their website for this product is that they would like an open equivalent of Flash to migrate to. And that's the thing, uh, Nash is out there but it's still in alpha, and it has been in alpha for, for uh, basically forever. So uh, <laughs> something has to happen there. I mean, what you have is the neutrality of the backend and the transport, which is uh, XML. Basically, what you do with the interface, well, what we're doing now is using what's available out there, which is Flash. If uh, someone would come with something else, then I guess it would, uh, well, everything would work. But it's, I, I'm it, coming from, I, I work on the what work group, Web Hypertext Application Technology Work Group. I work for the W3C. And basically using an API, which isn't really part of the web. So I really got to make that clear to you. Flash isn't the web. And, and what a little thing, I got carried away there. <laughs> the, <coughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think that the, uh, it's <laughs> there's no possibility of uh, joining your two point of view. <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> my point. Is my, my point nah. is the one that should apply. <laughs> Google writes Google um, have a, has quite a big market share. It's doing pretty well. Google are using web applications. Don't you see that Google is a success? Uh, ab absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Google is a success. It's a strategy that works. It's de it, it definitely, <laughs> definitely works. What, what, what we want to do is to have people, uh, uh, to give people the possibility of installing this in their own servers, in their schools or anything else, and also provide their own services like this. It's like, uh, 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 look at the state of open source uh, web apps like uh, Squirrel, for example, Squirrel Mail. It's definitely back there in 1999. That, that's where it remained. Nothing else, uh, uh, nothing has improved, nothing has evolved in the open source with regard to web applications. Uh, uh, I mean, this debate whether Flash is web or not, uh, I believe, you know, as long as it's, if it's uh, HTTP, if it uses port 80, it's web. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I would just ask my question and I give back the, the mic to, <laughs> to, to further discussion. <laughs> okay, I, I just uh, want to know if you, um, in fact, uh, I, I've got a small problem. Uh, I just want to know if uh, you have um, a solution to provide people with a sort of key uh, in order to uh, encrypt the, the data which uh, you can place on the hard drive. Uh, uh, in order that uh, this, this uh, information keep uh, are confidential only to, to these people. You, uh, in other words, when uh, you come to, uh, for, for example, um, a remote desktop, okay, um, you just plug in your, uh, let's say, USB key with uh, your, uh, your uh, cryptographic uh, secret, uh, and uh, it will be able to decode the, uh, the content of the hard drive, but you need this key, uh, only this key to, uh, to, to decrypt the content of the hard drive, so that even if you've got the data on your server, uh, only the people who own the data uh, really, uh, can, uh, really can only read it. It's a concern about privacy, in fact. Yeah. Uh, I believe that those are the things that an open project would do. It would create all these derivatives based on people's own preference. I mean, if you have this in your servers, 
do you want to do this, do you want to have encryption, then that's something which uh, uh, we would certainly encourage you to, 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 to do to create around this, you know, an encryption module. All this stuff, for example, as it is today, we, we have Java with the MSN transport Im implemented. That's the, uh, what our users have requested. But uh, 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 the transports for Yahoo and for other uh, messengers are out there. So we, uh, uh, the way we visualize it is that eventually it will include all this stuff and, 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 and more. It, it basically depends on, on what you want to do. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a small download. You just put it in your servers and uh, run it and you know, start doing whatever. OK, great. Thanks. Anyone uh, want to? To ask a question? Any more? Any more? <laughs> 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 I know the window is, is broken. I just hate windows. I just love the web. I can just see all these tabs and have everything there. You know, dragging and dropping, it's dead. The, the Windows desktop, it's dead. We're looking, we're looking forward now to a web only future. Not a flash API, not a proprietary API. Okay. Well, I mean, most people, that, that, that's what they want. Mo most people want Windows. Most people want this functionality of, of uh, a multi-window environment. Just to give my own point of view, uh, I think that's um, ideologic uh, things, and I'm not sure. Maybe the best solution is to push Adobe to, uh, to open his own source code, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll just point uh, something. We have structure or development based on three layers. So we have backend, we have a control layer, and we have, uh, well, what you see as flash. So uh, our control layer just uh, splits XML. So you can use X, uh, XML translator, and you can turn all these data and applications into a HTML page. So there, there is no problem. You just have to design your own frames uh, or divs or whatever you use to, to deploy XML applications. And all the functionality and all the data will be the same. So, well, we are opening everything, not just the Flash application. We, we are providing you our uh, backend configuration. We are providing you with our uh, control layer, and you will get in minutes uh, all this XML stuff. So, well, you can do whatever you want. You can use any a Python, Perl, or whatever uh, scripting language to uh, process this XML. So, well, it is so independent. Now, um, e well, I just forgot about backend <laughs> something. <laughs> any more question? Oh, I remembered. <laughs> <laughs>